Allow me to tell you about the time that I let go of time. Back in 2015, I traveled far, far away from my home. I went to Siam, Thailand, the land of smiles. When I got there, it happened to be the supermoon lunar eclipse. And that night, the moon was incredibly bright. It was incredibly, it was a super moon. It was huge. It was orange. It was so bright that you would have thought that it was the sun, except there, there were clouds, and the clouds kind of broke, and the moon peeked through it, and it looked very mysterious. It was, it was awe-inspiring. By the morning, the clouds had, had, had gone, and, and it was a bright uh, super moon. Well, the following day, I traveled to the coast, and it was the rainy season, uh, which, which basically means, uh, as far as the tourism goes, there, there wasn't a lot of tourists. And even though it was rainy, it was the rainy season, there, there was still sun, it was still beautiful. Uh, I took advantage of it. I went to. I was at a resort, and I was one of the only people that were there. So I definitely uh, went down by the poolside and went for a swim. I was virtually uh, by myself. I was all alone. And I went down by a little beach area. It was a part of the the resort that was there. On this beach, there were palm trees, and there were chairs, and there was sand. There was a little bit of the, the grass and uh, like a mini jungle right by there with um, huge trees and big roots coming from the trees. Once I got there, I had realized that the time had come where I had saved up money to go on my trip, taken the time to to travel taking the time away from work i had finally reached it i i, I was there I, uh, all the all the days and hours of traveling and all the days of doing the planning and the trip planning i had reached it i had gotten to the point of relaxation in paradise And I basked in it. I basked in the sun. And I took a breath. And I relaxed. And I enjoyed the moment. And then right away, I said, uh, what time is it? And I started looking for my phone to see what time it was. And then I had to kind of knock myself over the head and say, you dummy, what do you, what do you care what time it is? What do you care what time it is? What do you care what day it is? You're here. You've made it. You're, you're here right now. Enjoy it. See, I, I had taken the time to make the money, and I had taken the time to, to make the time to go on a vacation. I had done all that. What I hadn't practiced was I hadn't practiced what I would do when that time came. I didn't know what to do. Have you ever gotten to that point where you finally get here? And since you haven't practiced it, you don't know what to do except for look for the next thing you're supposed to do. So I took a big breath and I had to learn to let go of time and only be in what is known as the eternal now and just enjoy it be happy right now it's not in the future it's not in the past it is only right now i reflected on that and as i'm doing this painting with the orange moons and the and the tree it occurs to me that 
being like this tree where it's only existing and it's only enjoying right now and it's floating floating around in space there's no time doesn't need to be anywhere well that's what we do right now we we just practiced not having to be anywhere but right here in the now the eternal now.